You guys in for a treat? Follow me. Welcome to my dad's ping pong studio. This is where he teaches ping pong students on the basics of table tennis, how to serve, how to hit back, and let me just show you some of his credentials. Yeah, these are his plaques, teaching credentials. He used to teach a very famous uh, Chinese ping pong student called Gong Ga Leung. Yes, that's my dad when he was young, right there. Okay. All right. So if you just follow me, this is the pack. I bought him 600 ping pong balls for, uh, let's just say, spectacular price, very affordable. It's come shipped in this large box because there are 600 balls. And these are the Kevin's 60 pack three star ping pong balls. Okay, so today we're gonna bust out one of these and see what it's all about. All right, so I'm gonna open up one of these packs. And yes, these are made in China. It's got the three star rating right there. And I believe these are um, a little bit slightly oversized, but it's pretty much near regulation level. Okay. They seem pretty bouncy. I really like the orange color though. Let's get all out in here. All right, let's take a look at one of these. These are suitable for practice. Kevin's three star made in China. It says 40 plus right there. I'm not sure what that means, but it's supposed to have a regulation weight of 2.75 grams and a size of about 40 millimeters. It's slightly oversized, so it gives you a greater mass control to move the ball for a greater spin. Yeah, they seem pretty bouncy to me. You know what? I have a great test. I'm gonna test out all his ping pong balls and see which are the best. So here are all the ping pong balls that my dad uses to teach. Different brands, different variation, and yes. So he've used the Kevin's brand before. I think this is from the first pack, one of the packs. So I'm gonna pick out a few and uh, compare them. They could be different ratings, but we're gonna see how, which of them bounce the best. You guys in for a treat. I actually found 10 uh, brands or different style of Kevin's even though one of them a different color okay ranging from Franklin, Regale, um, Malpo, Jula actually the Franklin the same one, Sportcraft, iPong yeah and uh, what's this Butterfly all right Kevin's versus Kevin's just different color Hey, the orange one looks better. Okay, Kevin's versus a one star Franklin. Again, Kevin's. Okay, Kevin's versus Regale. Again, Kevin's. Now we have Kevin's versus iPong. Never heard of iPong before. Again, Kevin's. All right, we have Kevin's versus Butterfly. Never heard of Butterfly brand before. Again, Kevin's. Now we have Kevin's versus Jula. Now I am familiar with the Jula brand, so we have a three star versus a two star. Oh, this one is close, but looks like slight edge to Kevin's. Now we have Kevin's versus Sportcraft. Oh, Sportcraft looks definitely smaller. I've heard of the Sportcraft brand, but it looks like it's one star and. It's usually cheaper paddles, so we'll see. Kevin's. All right, now we have a Kevin's versus Franklin, uh, but this one is the non-color one. Kevin's. And lastly, we have a Kevin's versus a Mapo. This is more power on the Mapo. Never heard of the brand. Looks like the Mapo looks even bigger too. Here we go. Last test. Kevin's.
wow, these Kevin's ball does have a distinctive bounce and sound to them. Pretty unique. So here are all the damaged balls. And it looks like quite a few of them are Kevin's, but along with different brands. Um, they are, you know, slightly uh, oversized regulation ones. So if you use the typical uh, ping pong uh, slammer, so expect some damaged ones. But I heard if you put these in uh, hot water or like near boiling water, they can regain its original shape. All right. Yeah. These are very affordable. And with the orange color, you can definitely tell uh, where it's going or where to find them. And with the 60 pack, I'm sure it can last you for quite a while. And keep in mind that the slightly oversized will give you greater uh, spin and control. So get it while it lasts. I'm sure my dad's going to be happy with that.